Hi, Ted from Blue Forest Plants here, and today we are looking at black willow in the wintertime. How do I dee it? Uh, black willow is a, is a large willow. There's a lot of willows out there. Uh, the black willow, Salis, Salix nigra, is uh, probably the tallest in our area here in northern Minnesota. Uh, I can get up to 80 feet tall and almost just as wide loves to grow in moist areas you'll find it a lot next to streams river bottoms uh, wet areas um, you'll also as you can see with this one it doesn't really like to grow straight up it it grows out to the sides it falls over a lot it's not super strong wood but uh, as it falls over it just continues to grow so we can look at this large uh, trunk that's broken pretty much and is going straight horizontally uh, new shoots will emerge and start growing vertically straight out of it and this process will just happen over and over as the trees fall over or tip on their sides new shoots grow and the tree kind of starts a new cycle um, a big characteristic is the bark it's very deeply furrowed. Um, the location, we're, we're next to a little stream here. And that's where the, the black willow loves to grow in the, the very wet. It wants its roots to be wet. Um, like I said, it gets that big size. We look up into the canopy of the black willow. It gets pretty wispy which is another characteristic of willow in general. You can't even really see buds at all. It's just the wispy ends of branches up there. Um, it's a great tree to use uh, for coppicing, great for wildlife. Um, some people don't like it because it's quote unquote dirty, drops a lot of its branches and debris a lot. Um, obviously that's not really a a whole rounded view of this tree. I think it's pretty cool. Um, this area here, I guess, is the one that is probably the most upright of any. You can see it grows upright for about 15, 20 feet before it starts to kind of get gnarly and, and leaning. Eventually this will break and tip over, just like all these other ones. Um, yeah, cool tree serves to be planted. You can work really well with it if you manage it in a coppice or pollard fashion. Uh, you can create living fences out of it. Uh, you can help solidify erosion along stream banks. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a cool tree. You should get to know them, keep an eye out for them, and we'll take a look at them in the summer and see what they look like then. Thanks for watching.